Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. Today I will make a reaction to another episode of Edomae Erufu or Otaku Elf. I'm very really happy that you are uh, enjoying this anime, and uh, of course, thank you to everybody who is watching this anime with me, uh, to every subscriber, and also big thank you to Koryusai for your comments that you are trying to uh, explain me. Uh, interesting stuff about uh, Japan, about traditions and everything, and also F uh, and six stars, I really don't know how to uh, say your uh, nickname on YouTube, but also thank you for your comments. And uh, yeah, uh, last episode for me was really long, because uh, it was a lot of interesting stuff, yeah, and uh, uh, Miko tried to learn more about Edo period thanks to Takamimi and uh, yeah, a lot of information and it uh, took me a, a really uh, long time to find everything and to read everything, but it was really cool, uh, really interesting. And uh, I think we can start with the episode now uh, and give me a few seconds, I must prepare it. So, and we will see what will happen today with Takamimi and Miko, if we will see again the Dark Elf from Osaka, or... So, just a minute. Yeah, I'm recording. So, 3, 2, 1, and we can go. Ah, it's Miko's sister. Yeah. Oh, so she's buying fresh fish for shrine and for Takamimi. <laughs> <laughs> so the lunch or dinner will be probably very tasty. Also, thank you, Koryu Sai, that you mentioned the uh, like TV show like Edomae uh, Eruru or uh, Otaku Elf to see these two girls uh, in a, like real life with the costumes of uh, Miko and uh, Takamimi. But yeah, it's it said that it isn't like the English subtitles or something like this. But see around them the stuff uh, from anime, also the room. It's interesting. Oh, apple pie. So 
So we have got some party. <laughs> Interesting song. <laughs> about what? Oh. Ah, and it's the game, so that will be interesting. Some interesting game from Edo period. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the kites. Okay. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> of course. <laughs> what do <you> Frog? <laughs> Penguin? Yeah. <laughs> oh! Oh, dragon, bear. <laughs> I never tried. I must find some channel and try it to make origami. Oh. Mm, okay. Some sweets. Ah. 
Ah, bubbly folk. So bubbles. Okay. With sugar? That's interesting. Ah. <laughs> Outside. <laughs> Otaku. <laughs> yeah, the garden. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Cool. She's talented. She can cook. <laughs> Koyuzo. The animation of the bubbles is really nice. This shot with sunset. To spend the time with you. Wow, she's really talented. <laughs> Spend time with you and with the academy. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> nice shot. <laughs> Okay, another day. Ah, the frogs? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Nightmare? <laughs> yeah, nightmare. <laughs> Oh, golden frog answer.
Oh. Oh. So you must go outside. Oh. I must look for that later. <laughs> she wants to probably win a trip to Hawaii. <laughs> she must have straight first I think. No, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, street merchant. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Ikea. <laughs> Probably Ikea, right? <laughs> Fresh bacon, melon bread. Mm. <laughs> oh. Ah. Oh, for you. Ah, the doctor. <laughs> oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Frog. <laughs> Ah, everybody is praying. Ah, oh. that cross. <laughs> <laughs> It's black. <laughs> <laughs> but okay ah <laughs> good work that was nice <laughs> and end of the episode that was fast yeah but I really enjoy this it's a really funny anime So I want to, I will listen the 
the ending because also the song is really nice. And yeah, we learn another stuff about the period, about the games, about delivery service. That's a surprise for me. There's also the merchants visited the houses and offer their their work and products okay and i want to go a little back Let's see. Yeah, Tsukuda. We exist for today and tomorrow, for after that we return to the soul of Tsukuda. What is Tsukuda? So let's find it. Tsukuda. Part of Tokyo or? Prefecture. Oh, also, is a Tsukuda is also surname, but uh, yeah, it's also some outdoor. Some manga. But I'm uh, I can see some map of Tokyo and it's Tsukuda Chuo City Prefecture Tokyo one zero four zero zero five one. Yes, so, okay, so it's Tsukuda is prefecture of the Tokyo, probably where uh, the where the Takamimi Shrine is. Yeah, I'm also Hanafuda cards were kind of outlawed, so Hanafuda cards. Hanafuda cards. Hanafuda. Hanafuda flower cards are a style of Japanese playing cards that are typically smaller than Western playing cards. Uh, 5.4 by 3.2 centimeters, but thicker and stiffer. On the face of each card is the depiction of plants, tanzaku, animals, birds, or man made objects. One single card depicts a human. The back side is usually plain without a pattern or design of any kind and traditionally colored either red or black. Hanafuda are used to play a variety of games including Koi Koi and Hachi Hachi. Uh, yeah, I remember these cards from that uh, anime movie, but I forgot the name. It was like some computer game and the some evil account uh, want to like destroy that that game and they play uh, the, to destroy him that system or account they play the Hanafuda cards 
and the Koi Koi. Yeah, but I forgot the name of that. I don't know now. In Korea, Hanafuda are known as Hvatu, Hanja, uh, Petal of Flowers, and made of plastic with a textures backside. The most popular games are Go Stop and Seotda. Uh, Vatu is very commonly played in South Korea during special holidays such as a Lunar New Year and Hus Huseok, probably. In Hawaii, Hanafuda is used to play Sakura. Hanafuda is also played in Micronesia, where it is known as Hana Hanahuda, and is used to play a four-person game, which is often paired cross-table. Hmm, that's interesting. And history... Uh, do, 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 do. The first Japanese made decks made during the Tensho period 1573-1592 mimic Portuguese decks and are referred to as Tensho Karuta. Mm -hmm. After Japan closed off all contact with the Western world in 1633, foreign play, playing cards were banned. I'm looking for, and I can see the Edo period, but some mention. And also cards, there are 48 cards, total divided into 12 suites, representing months of the year. Each suite is designed by a flower and, and has four cards. An extra blank card may be included to serve as replacement in Korean but to deck several joker cards, award various bonuses. <laughs> That's interesting. But I really don't know the name of that anime, of that movie. But it's older. It's older and that boy uh, visited uh, like the big family also with uh, uh, and that house, uh, he was there with like uh, childhood friend, yeah, the girl, and she said that it's uh, that the boy is her boyfriend, uh, but she liked uh, her uncle or something like this, and the boy was like. Uh, he wasn't a hacker, yeah, but uh, something about hacking the system and... Uh, but it was interesting. It was interesting and I remember that they played the Koi Koi. Uh, yeah, and let's continue. Let's continue. Tokyo Ite. Hearing that makes me think you are a real old fashioned Tokyoite. Tokyoite. What is Tokyoite? Tokyoite. Meaning an inhabitant or native of Tokyo. Okay. Interesting. I'm looking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, okay, so let's continue. I like this scene, like. <laughs> But here in this episode, they really nicely explained it. Uh, 
the uh, the bubble vendors, yeah, and uh, salesmen and delivery staff. That was really cool. And I want to Shibuya. Also some Shibuya. Shibuya. Oh. Okay, a lot of information about Shibuya. Shibuya. Shibuya or Shibuyaku is a special word in Tokyo, Japan. As a major commercial and finance center, it houses two of the busiest railway stations in the world, Shinjuku Station, Southern Half, and Shibuya Station. As of April 1, 2022, it has, it has an estimated population of 228,906 and a population density of 15,149 people per kilometer. And the total area is 15.11 kilometers quadra kilometers. The name Shibuya is also used to refer to the shopping district which surrounds Shibuya Station. This area is known as one of the f fashion centers of Japan, particularly for young people and as a major nightlife area. Mm -hmm. uh. Also, Shibuya was historically the site of a castle in which the Shibuya family re resided from the 11th century through the Edo period. Following the opening of the Yam Yamanote line in 1885, Shibuya began to emerge as a railway terminal for southwestern Tokyo and eventually as a major commercial and entertainment center. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. So, let's continue. Let's continue. Yeah, and I want to look. <laughs> Tsukishima Ni Nishinaka Street, First Avenue. I want to look, it's like a real thing, Nishinaka. But probably yes, because yeah, it looks like it's real street. Okay. Okay, okay, so it's real. I really like this that like everything yeah, IKEA. <laughs> but yeah, I want to look because she mentioned Uh, yeah, empty Amazon boxes instead. So, uh, but I want to look because here is Amazon.co.jp. So, it's like real address or only it's only like the joke. Let's see. It's probably only a joke. Yeah. Like it's Amazon, but they use Amazon. 
and also the IKEA. But we are also saying in Czech like uh, Amazon and IKEA in Czech. We say like we can read it, so IKEA. For us, like saying IKEA, it's a little or for me, it's a little weird. Yeah? So we see IKEA, but we are reading IKEA. Yeah, she's saying the same thing, IKEA. So we are saying IKEA, same as you. That's, that's nice. And I want to melon bread, yeah, because I see uh, melon bread in a lot of you know, anime. So, a melon, melon pan, melon pan, also known as melon pan, melon pan, or melon bread, is a type of Japanese sweet pan that is well known across the country and widely popular through China and Taiwan. The sweet pan is made from a dough covered in a thin layer of crisp cookie dough. The appearance resembles a melon, such as a rock melon, cantaloupe. They are not traditionally melon flavored, but in recent times it has become popular for manufacturers to add melon flavoring to melon bread. Variations exist including some with a few chocolate chips between the cookie layer and the enriched dove layer and non-melon versions flavored with caramel, maple syrup, chocolate or other flavors sometimes with syrup, whipped or flavored cream or custard as a filling. In the case of such variations, the name may drop the word melon, instead of replacing it with the name of the contest, such as maple pan or maple syrup flavored bread, or may keep it despite the lack of melon flavor, such as chocolate melon pan. Mm. After World War I, Okura Kihachiro brought an Armenian baker, Johannes Gevenian, also known as Ivan Sagoyan, to Tokyo. Sagoyan worked at the Imperial Hotel in Tokyo and invented melon pan. Because I always thought that like the melon pan or uh, melon bread, uh, the name is because it's Tastes like a melon, melon, uh, melon, yeah. And uh, so it's only like sweet bun. Uh, that's a new information for me. Like okay, thin layer of crisp cookie dot, yeah. But I always thought like it's taste of the melon, yeah. So it's like the new thing they to they uh, they did uh, uh, or did. Add melon flavoring to melon bread. That's interesting. Let's continue. Yeah, but I think that's for today probably all because they explain everything. I really like that these girls returned the uh, golden frog back and uh, she, Takamimi, won the prize. So. Yeah, great episode. Great episode. So I hope that you enjoy this. Of course, I will be happy if you visit my another reactions uh, and if you leave a comment. And uh, yeah, I must ask you if you are from Japan. Uh, I saw a few days ago a face day night uh, UBW, and they mentioned they they must uh, or uh, they they have got school on Saturday. So it's a real thing like that you have got school on Saturday because in the Czech Republic uh, we have got school on 
like from Monday to Friday, yeah, um, during like elementary and high school. For example, if you study university and uh, not like uh, daily, but for uh, like but the distance uh, for for distance, yes. So if you are studying distance uh, degree, uh, you have got classes like uh, uh, only on. Uh, Friday and Saturday, yeah, but only the two days and every 14 days. But like, if you must visit school also on Saturday, uh, uh, it's it's for you. It's probably normal, yeah. But for us, because I think almost every nation in uh, Europe they have got like school from Monday to Friday, and you have got three weekend. So two days without the school, that's great. But if you must go to school on Saturday, from my point of view, it's really uh, bad yeah, to spend a day uh, or shorter. Because uh, one of my subscriber, Mr. Gaudor123, leave me a comment that some school, some school uh, have got um, this um, uh, Saturday's lessons, but they are shorter. Uh, so I will be happy if you write me like every school has got uh, Saturday lessons or only some schools. Yeah, so I will be happy uh, about that information. I hope that we will see next week. And for now, see ya and enjoy the weekend. <laughs> yeah, because uh, in Czech uh, in Czech Republic now is Friday. So, see ya.